Welcome back everybody to more Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years Blind And yes, I made a dumb in the end of the last episode Um Because while I can clearly see that the room has nothing else I didn't see the door Until editing And damn did I feel pretty stupid But hey, in my defense, like I said I can see the room is self-contained in that entire place So if you're not looking there, it's easy to miss So I backtrack to this one Hey Chicky Poo, how's it going? I'm just gonna back up and get in a formation right here. Cause I don't know if you're gonna go nuts on us like everybody else has. Radia, stop being stupid! Oh. Now, I don't know... Thank you, Captain Obvious. Edge, we've gone through this. You've been with the other ones. Weren't you the one saying, like, in the beginning, oh, you know, we don't have a friggin' choice here, and Rydia was, like, begging, no, 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 we can't do it for, well, understandably. But, one thing I did consider, and I have an eyelash that just fell into my eye, and ow, that hurt. I don't know if this is a, co well, obviously I'm doing it blindly, is this a copy-pasted battle? Or, because now it is plot important instead of optional, if it is different. Because there's a chance it might be. So, in case it is copy-pasted, I'm doing this on the new. That way she won't heal herself as much. So, and that way I can jump and Kane can avoid her crap. So I don't really see that many downsides to this. Can I get a haste march? Uh, no. She still doesn't have quake. When the freaking hell does she get it? Jeez. Honey, that didn't do you any good. Well, she ain't healing herself like crazy, so... Eh, I'm gonna have to flush my heels a little bit. So, given that she's not healing herself like... Edward Haste March! I'm guessing this isn't quite a copy-pasted battle. I didn't double-check if the CPU was directly copy-pasted, but I suspect a l most of it was. And like, and like I said last time, it's a, it's a, you know, obviously like the previous bosses and whatnot. Um, obviously their stats are different, but their AI script is pretty much the same. Now obviously I know the CPU in that case, yes, obviously the, um, um, the AI, AI is the same, but it's very possible that the stats are copy-pasted too. I haven't looked that up. I could look that up, but I've just been damn lazy. Okay, now she's breaking out the healing, but pfft, I can easily overtake that, so. Edward, give me, give me one last chance to haste march me. Come on, come on. Do it, bro. Do it for me, bro. No, you suck. Her healing is gonna suck, but it's not like she's doing anything else in this fight, so why not? I thought about uh, bringing someone else in with Reflect, but since I didn't, you know, suspect that it might not have been exactly a copy pasted battle, I figured I'd try it because obviously I saved before I started, so even if I screwed this up badly, it wouldn't be that hard to go back and redo things. Whoops. I meant to do that on everybody, but that's the case since it didn't do a damn thing. I suppose it's not that bad. Yeah, Fluttershy, you have haste. Why the hell have I been hasting everyone individually? I could very easily have been doing that this whole time. But apparently I'm a doofus brain. Damn it, Edward, get your turn! a little 
little better. And I'll heal Edge with her. And that'll be fine. She hits hard, holy cow. Sorry, your healing sucks compared to my powers. Let's freeze her. Why the hell not? Watch, wa watch me, watch him like haste march me like when she's got like two hits left. Wouldn't be the first damn time that's happened. But I suppose that's good. Maybe she'll stop beating the crap out of me. This is one of those ones where the battle just ends. You know, this whole stopping to attack to save the Eidolons instead of outright killing them was a good idea, except they just weren't so inconsistent with it, and most of them just end. There's only two of them you can actually kill. Well, so far. Although, if Rydia isn't, I mean, people have told me, you know, you have to, you know, put Rydia in the party, but is this just for plot reasons, or is it possible to actually kill, kill them? Well, honestly, you had a damn point. The girl, summoner or not, is human. She needs to be around other humans. Last summoner or not, she isn't an idol one. She's not. Now, I don't really fully understand. Like, I don't know if I've gone through this before, but I don't fully understand this whole why Rydia has lost them. I mean, I can understand- ooh, treasure. Well, too bad that reduces my speed. Um, I can understand the whole... In the beginning, they were petrified. Technically speaking. So that, for the time being, explains why Rydia can't summon them. They're literally, like, frozen in time, so to speak. Um, the only problem with that is, all of a sudden, Mary Sue can summon them. Why can't Rydia? Now, I can understand some absolute BS excuse where they're somehow freaking brainwashed or something, but they can't be both brainwashed and thus Rydia's lost him because of the brainwashing, and be, like, petrified slash frozen in time at the same time. It should have been one or the other, and not some awkward mix of both. But then again, Eidolons in this game are just really weird anyway. Like, I don't know. They're just bizarre. Oh, now you put it on me. Like, especially that whole thing with Mist Dragon over there. You know, the thing we you know, kind of murdered in the first game that was a plot point that we killed it. But like I said, I'm, I'm under the impression that when Rydia's mother died, she was reincarnated into the next new Mist Dragon. I'm, I think that's what is implied, even though it doesn't still fully make sense, but I think it's the thing, something that makes the most sense out of the whole thing, so... I need to check which phase I'm on. Um, hmm. One under one action. You know what? I'm gonna be ballsy. I'm gonna switch to the full. I'm gonna be ballsy here. I'm either going to kick his ass, or this is going to come back to haunt me badly. Rhea, what the hell happened to your brain cells? Gee, every other Eidolon has been brainwashed and slashed out of your control. Gee, they're in the enemy's dungeon. I wonder if they're just sitting here having a tea party. Dumbass.
You think you people would learn? Apparently not. Watch him get like a haste march the first move. Watch this. I will laugh so hard. <laughs> At least this episode we're getting two boss fights in here. Ow! That kinda hurt. No, I want your white magic, honey. Oh god, Rydia, you are so slow. I did haste her, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, that was pretty good. And... Nah, you just jump on him. So yeah, apparently doing this on the full kind of gets my ass kicked, but... I got two healers on the team, so I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Although I have considered kicking Fluttershy out uh, in the very near future. The only problem is I don't know who to put in her place. Oh hey Hot Stuff, what's going on? Okay, I know she's trying to reason with him, but I mean she was under the exact same thing, okay? <laughs> Hello Pot, my name is Kettle. Now, we're gonna make him remember the same way we made every other I don't wanna remember. By kicking the ever-loving crap out of him. You know, why haven't we tried this on Cecil yet? I mean, I mean, no, like, no, like, think about this, like, seriously. Every I don't want, pretty much, except for the Sylphs, we have freed by beating the shit out of them into submission. Hell, Young, in the first game, when he was fell under brainwashing, we kicked the crap out of him to get him to come back to his senses. Why is no one thinking of doing this with Cecil? I'm serious! That's the, ooh, nice radio, thank you. Especially after that, you know, insult about the flowers he gave Edward, you know. I think Edward deserves to throw the first punch. And to pay back for that bitch lap. Back in the first game. Okay, you almost dead. You know, I'm tempted to, to, to use Fluttershy's black magic to see if it does any damage whatsoever. I mean, now, now I'm starting to see why some of you guys didn't really want me to bring her. I mean, I brought her because um, she's cute. And because, obviously, um, with white and black magic, she had a little bit of... Yeah, of course, I couldn't get it off, damn it. Uh, she had, you know, a little bit of versatility. The only problem is... Uh, well, granted, I have her pumped full of uh, spirit boost equipment as supposed to intellect boosting equipment, but a lot of the enemies have just way too much uh, magic defense, and she doesn't have enough intellect, although partially that's my fault. I'm sorry, I just got my fingernail caught in my pants. To really do any damage, but on the other hand, she's got like all the buffs and debuffs, though. And I know I have Edward for some of that, but... You know, he's more, much more random, even though he can do it to the whole party at once. Hooray! And now we finally get a freaking decent summon. Well, Mary Sue's a bitch, so... Sorry, I'm cutting that burr off my fingernail that got caught on my hand. Hooray! Not 
not gonna use that. Oh, I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Losers! Extra free heal though. You guys are a pal. No, I don't wanna heal this. I wanna save. Except I haven't saved enough. What the hell am I gonna spend all this gill on? I'm, I'm, I'm being serious here, guys. Because, like, I'm not using, like, any of my healing items. Like, ser like seriously? I haven't used, like, anything. Look, look, look at the, like, freaking ethers I have. I mean, granted, I, I could restock on high potions. And I'm probably going to do that next time we hit a magical interdimensional elevator. But, uh, besides that... It's like, what the heck am I going to spend it all on? Stupid monsters like to pick on poor Rydia. You know, I should probably search her chest up here. There is. You know, I don't think I've thrown like a single shuriken this entire game. Alright. Alright. You know what I'm going to do? I got a freaking summon Leviathan on your ass just because I can. I am God knows how many hours into this game, and I'm just now getting access to this. I mean, granted, you know, it's probably going to be the exact same as it was in the original, but who cares? I have Leviathan, and that is awesome. Now I'm only missing one more. And I'm guessing that is going to be part of the epic impending showdown with Mary Sue that is coming up. Eventually, at some point. I mean, I know it's coming. Uh, I've already been told there's at least one more, and considering we've never officially defeated her, technically, sort of, in a way, you know, obviously, we know there's a final showdown coming. Alright. No, I might want to open that. I hate when I do that. Game! Have we seen the gold dragons before? Somewhere down here? I don't know. I can't remember. So we're keeping this in. Yeah, and I didn't change it off auto battle. Well, the, the whole keep Leviathan thing, but who cares? It's Leviathan, for crying aloud. Alright. So they want friggin' summon in this game better than him. And I'm gonna make her do it again. Oh yeah. I don't care I'm blowing all her MP. I have ethers. I got a ton of them. You guys just saw it. And I can just, you know, easily, like, Osmos, like, Kane, who doesn't use, like, any MP because he's not banding with anybody. You know, I haven't even, like, looked or done any research if any of these people in my party can be with, if, like, any, with each other at all. I just really haven't. I mean, I have a list somewhere on my desk of, um, at least some of the bands that can break the damage limit. Unfortunately, most of them involve Cecil. Which, obviously, um, is kind of a vegetable right now, so he's not of any use, and I can't take advantage of any of that. And, thinking about it, I'm actually surprised you guys haven't really mentioned any, um, bands I can use with, like, the current party and everything like that. I mean, not necessarily that, you know, I'm complaining that, you know, you guys aren't helping me out or, like, anything like that. It's more just a random thing I, I all of a sudden like, just noticed, you know? And I've been mostly kicking ass auto-battling anyway, so... Rig out of here. So, I mean, I don't find, you know, it's not a huge deal to me or anything like that. Phoenix down. Okay, I got plenty of Phoenix down. Yeah, I have, like, so many files, um, running. Well, not running, but, um, uh, in progress because I already have bonus episodes planned for this and I'm trying to um, get them set up, um, so to speak. Rydia finally learned Quake at level 51. 
Edward's 49? Holy crap, is he caught up? Jeez, I mean, I know he was, like, behind beforehand, actually. Do I need to go down here? Okay. That's just a dead end. All right. Now, is this, like, back in that big circle? No, this is where it started. Okay. All right, so basically I have to go around and get back up to the top there, because I'm guessing the flames are now gone. I'm guessing that's what they were there for. It's just like, oh, you have plot to go through here. You cannot pass. So I'll just meet you guys at the top there. Alrighty. Hooray, and the flames are gone. What, no, what, no crappy cutscene? No nothing? Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go stock myself up on some uh, high potions here. Actually, what, what do you sell for weapons? Wait a fucking second here! Okay, I was gonna say, I'm like, I don't remember ever getting those, so I was wondering if it was like a typo or something. Now, you can't buy Fuma shurikens anymore? But, but I mean, I, I don't know exactly how attack multipliers and everything works in this game. But, why would I pay 200 for a regular shuriken with attack of 20, and pay... 20,000 for something with an attack power of 40. Is that really worth it? And I'm being deadly serious here, like... Ha ha ha, 69 joke, whatever. Actually, can I buy high potions? I mean, not high potions, X potions? No, 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 I'm being retorted again, I'm sorry guys. No way. Let's talk about X potions too, because we're right freaking here. Okay, I've got a bunch of emergency exits. Yeah, I'm okay. All right, I'm all right. It's not like I need to buy anything else. I just saved, but I'm gonna do it again anyway. Alright, so this is a good spot to end the episode because my recording is up to like 30 minutes. I've been just slowly try I've been honestly trying to not make my episodes like 30 minutes long after editing, but I just get so into it that I just can't help it and my inability to shut up means I can't edit out as many battles. But um, yeah, at least we got a bit done in this episode. We get some plot and some bosses done. That's awesome. That's really cool. But I'm going to have to end this, like I just said. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching, like I always do. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Alright? See you later, buddies.